is this mask not the best ever? I had to show you guys. I love it. It makes me happy every time I wear it. Maybe I should just keep it on. Well, you probably need to see my lips for the letters. So anyway, it's me. Surprise! Mrs. Lightbulb. Um, first letter for this week is the letter N. N. And we are going to make the sign language for it. And then we're going to use neck as the item that we remember. So I'm going to show you a couple of pictures in a minute um, because this one kind of goes with the way you print the lowercase. Do you remember when we made lowercase m with sign language and I talked about it kind of looks like the three little swimming sticks? Guess what n does? Two fingers over the top of your thumb. So if we did it with both hands, it would look like this. And then we'll say N says, N, this is one that could go on and on forever. N says, N, neck, neck. And the way you do the sign in real sign language is you just point at your neck. But we're gonna hold our hands in the letter N sign for neck, okay? Um, pay really close attention to uppercase N, it can be very challenging. Lowercase N is pretty easy. I think you'll be good at this one pretty quickly. So I will say, Arr. bye. So here's what I just talked about with the fingers. See how on M you have three fingers on top of your thumb? because lowercase m has one, two, three lines. Lowercase n, you have two fingers on top because lowercase n has one, two lines. Here we go with one of the most challenging uppercase letters. Um, here's what I noticed first though. Did you notice name on these worksheets starts with an uppercase N? So N, N says, N, I'm gonna go ahead and write my name quickly. Just like you should on every paper until you graduate from college or medical school or whatever it is. Okay, so uppercase N is two strokes. It looks like it would be three. There's one line here, there's a slide, and there's a line here. You don't make it in three strokes though, you do two. You are going to start where we always start, that starting corner, and do a big line down. Then you're gonna frog jump, and you're never gonna lift your pencil again until you're done. You're going to slide, and then you're going to go straight up. So it's a big line down, frog jump, slide down, straight up. Big line down, frog jump, slide down, straight up. So here I'll make one by myself. Big line down, frog jump, slide down, straight up. That is the hard part. Kindergartners tend to go like this. 
it's easier to make a V with two slides. See how that's a V if I cover up that line? Instead of making a slide and a straight line. So after you do your big line, and then you frog jump and do your slide, pause for a minute and think about where would I end up if I was going straight up? I wouldn't end up over here or here or here, I would end up going, if I'm gonna go straight up like a wall on a building, I would end up about right there. So I'm gonna do a little dot and I'm kind of gonna aim like that. That is a hard stroke to make. Because remember, um, gravity works and you start at the top and drop. We're used to doing drop letters. Here, we're doing a push. And it's harder to do a push than a pull. So one more time. Big line down, frog jump, slide down. Now push straight up. That's the hard part. All right, and my favorite is actually that one. Okay, so keep practicing on uppercase N. That is a little tricky. Uppercase N was tricky, lowercase N should be pretty easy because guess what it is? It is a swimming letter, low dive. It's a low dive and I'm gonna draw my ladder, my diving board. It's just, it's going to dive down, swim up over, get a breath, back down and bump. So here's what I like to think about. I like to think about kind of like there's three cousins who swim together. They all are low diving board cousins. So this is like the house is here, okay? So they're gonna swim down here. R likes to swim the least. It dives down, it turns around, gets a breath, and it stops because it doesn't wanna swim very much. N swims kind of medium dive down, turn around, up, over, and bump. M likes to swim the most. So it's gonna start here, dive down, swim up, over, and bump, swim up, over, and bump. See how it's the shortest swimmer, the medium swimmer, and the longest swimmer? And the other thing I like to look for is here, there's an R hidden right there. There's an R hiding in the M. There's also an N hiding in the M. So it helps to think about those letters that are made with the same kind of strokes, okay? Okay, now back on the front, I'm just gonna make a couple more. Dive down, oh, I, I'm sorry, I went crooked there. Swim up over and bump. Dive down, swim up, get a breath. Dive down and bump. Uh, I would say the mistake I would see the most is too much of a space here. I think I showed you that when we did R and M. Like, there's not a bunch of space here, and I used to say, oh, P-U, that's stinky. So you don't want room for a lot of garbage to sit there, okay? Um, and actually, I think I like the last one the best. <laughs> 